They want to make it illegal to protest outside people's homes to put an end to what they call intimidation tactics, kind of like what happened last night in Caldwell. It's a bipartisan proposal that was introduced yesterday at the Idaho State House, and after what we saw happen a lot last year, groups sometimes very large targeting, for example, a Meridian police officer, the Boise mayor and an Ada County commissioner protesting loudly at their homes outside of their private homes. Sure enough, one of the co-sponsors of the legislation, Representative Greg Cheney, he had protesters show up to his home last night with torches and pitchforks. During public testimony on the legislation late yesterday, some testified this proposed law is a violation of their right to free speech and that protesting at private homes is the only way to be heard. Some say the legislation is simply, well, unconstitutional. Joe Paris spoke with Representative Greg Cheney about last night, as well as a constitutional law expert, about the content of this bill. This was the scene outside of Representative Greg Cheney's home late Wednesday. Representative Cheney says this group of about a dozen was there with torches and pitchforks. Well, more than anything, I mean, I was angry for my family's sake. I saw the, the stress on my, my wife's face. I saw the, uh, the teary eyes of my daughters, and I, got, I was very frustrated for their sake. The group was there in response to the bill Representative Cheney is co-sponsoring. The bill aims to make it illegal to protest at private homes. There was hours of public testimony on the bill Wednesday, and Cheney wrote on Twitter, quote, They say they do this because they aren't heard, but we just spent hours hearing them in committee. Adding, quote, they say this isn't an intimidation tactic, but they showed up with torches and pitchforks and a stuffed animal hung in effigy. One of our little girls asked this morning, why do they want to kill dad? I think that they're conflating the idea of being heard with the idea of having their opinion followed. Those are two very different things. Intimidation is not a democratic principle. And uh, argumentation, um, protest even, is absolutely appropriate to shape public policy. Uh, making somebody feel unsafe and their family feel unsafe uh, is not an appropriate way to, to set policy or to react to a civil servants. Some critics of the bill say it's unconstitutional and infringes on their First Amendment rights and that protesting at homes is sometimes their only option to be heard. Advocacy is okay, picketing and protesting is okay, but uh, it's also okay for the government to set reasonable restrictions. University of Idaho law professor Shakira Sanders is an expert on constitutional law. She says this certainly isn't the first time a lawmaker has proposed legislation to prevent protests at private homes. The success of those proposals over the years has varied with challenges all the way up to the Supreme Court. The state's uh, goal may be good, but it looks like the way uh, this bill is, is written, I think that there would be a number of constitutional challenges, and I think some of those could be successful. Professor Sanders reviewed the current Idaho proposal and says the idea in general is sound, but that some specific language in the bill could result in challenges. She points to the part of the bill that looks to prevent targeted picketing, quote, with the intent to harass, annoy, or alarm. It very well could be that uh, that's too vague, um, the court normally does not like laws that infringe on the First Amendment for purposes of avoiding offending people or annoying people. There's a long line of cases uh, where statutes have been struck down, uh, where there's just some intent uh, to prevent annoyance. The court says that's too subjective of a standard. Another potential issue Sanders points to is the section of the bill that says the law would not apply to private residences that are used as a principal place of business for an individual. Carve-outs in past legislation, like this exception, have provided some issues for courts. But we see with this carve-out for businesses, you can still pick it in a residential neighborhood. We see that you can pick it for other reasons. I guess if it's not to annoy, harass, or alarm, then maybe the picketing is okay. I think those type of topic matter, subject matter distinctions uh, could be fatal uh, to this bill. Representative Cheney says for him, this is about keeping the process civil while not chasing people away from the conversation because of the fear of intimidation. We wanted to be mindful of, of not stopping protest, um, just creating the, the smallest possible carve out to protect the sanctity of the home. All right, Joe, we know Salt Lake City has a similar law, and they're trying to make that a statewide law right now in the Utah legislature. 
you think maybe they would just copy the language there and bring it over to Idaho. But what happens with this legislation next? I know a lot of people are kind of keeping an eye on it. Yeah, Brian, the next time we'll see this legislation is actually tomorrow afternoon. It'll appear in a House committee. Um, there's a lot of anticipation on what could exactly happen with this bill. Could it make it to the full House? Uh, of course, after the protest at Representative Cheney's home last night, there's even more attention on this bill right now. Some lawmakers I spoke with today, Brian, said that the actions of last night kind of just proves why this bill is necessary. Yeah, and uh, let it be known that the threat of constitutional issues hasn't really stopped the Idaho legislature from passing these bills anyway. So we'll see how this advances. Thanks, Joe. Well, legal language aside, law enforcement has made it clear they are in support of this bill. Canyon County Sheriff Kieran Donahue also testified to that fact in yesterday's committee hearing. He told us today this bill is fully supported by the Chiefs of Police, Idaho Prosecuting Attorneys Association, Idaho Sheriff's Association, and the Fraternal Order of Police. And he stressed this isn't just something meant for elected officials referring to the doxing demonstration that showed up outside a Meridian police officer's house last spring, as we already mentioned, after the arrest of a woman at a closed Meridian playground. He said this would be a benefit to anyone who might be a target simply because they had the audacity of choosing to serve their state or their community. Sheriff Donahue said there is a process we have in this country and in the state of Idaho. That's the democratic process, presenting testimony, debating it publicly, that's the proper way to respect this process, but that's not the playbook that's been followed this past year and last night.